Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to continue our study of uh, organic chemistry and basically alkanes. We are still talking about alkanes. In the last, in the last class we talked about what are characteristics, properties of alkanes. Okay, And today we are going to look at preparation of alkanes. Preparation. Preparation of Arcanes. All right. So uh, please know that this video tutorial is brought to you to, uh, by one and only O3 Schools Jam CBT Practice App. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. If you want to succeed and not succeed, you need to get that app in your phone right now as we are talking. Please jump to Play Store, download the app, and start practicing your way to success. That's all the past question. In fact, let us take a past question from the app. Let us have it. Let us see a question from the app as it relates to this topic. Uh, in the last episode, uh, this is a 2022 question. Number 13. All right. Okay. So uh, it says, so one of the following is a saturated compound. All right. So uh, I told you in the last class, in the last episode, that uh, we have what? Alkenes, alkenes, and alkynes. Alkenes. Okay. Alkenes. We also have what alkynes, and I told you that alkanes are saturated. They are saturated, that is, they are full. Then we have what uh, alkenes are unsaturated, and what alkynes are unsaturated. I remember telling you this, okay? And I told you that what that alkanes are completely saturated with hydrogen atoms, okay? So they are full. They can no longer take more what hydrogen, what hydrogen atom as they as they already have, okay? They are already full. They are saturated, okay? So alkanes are the only saturated hydrocarbons. Alkenes and alkynes are unsaturated. I told you it's an exam question, so you may see it anywhere. That's why you do not need to joke with anything. So this is a question, a 2022 question. It says, A, it says one of the following is a saturated compound, rather. One of the following, the question has been shown on your screen right now. One of the following is a saturated compound. A, they say butene. Butene is an alkene. Okay, it's an alkene because alkenes are unsaturated. That means that cannot be our answer. Okay, B, they say alkyne. Alkynes are what? Unsaturated. So that cannot also be our answer. Then D, they say what? Alkenes. Okay, alkenes are saturated. That is why our correct option there would be what? Would be option A. So you do not joke with whatever we teach. All right? So please, I'm going to come back to questions on preparation of alkenes at the, uh, preparation of alkenes at the end of the class. All right, so please go to Play Store, download the application, start practicing. It has all the past questions you need to succeed in your exam. Questions, search feature, where you can search for questions according to topics. Okay, so you can go to the app now and just search for Arkins and question on Arkins will come out for you to answer. What is more is that we have the UTME mock challenge. It's a mock challenge that will conduct for you every Saturday till one week to your jam, to your main jam exam. So imagine yourself participating in different mocks before the main exam. Your result will be released just like jam. Okay? So it will build your confidence toward the main exam. It is all you need. Trust me when I say so. Activation fee is just a little token. So please, make that sacrifice. Download the application from Play Store or to the school jam app. And of course, activate it immediately. Now let's quickly see preparation of what of alkenes. Okay? So I'm going to see the laboratory preparation of alkenes. Laboratory preparation preparation laboratory preparation of alkenes okay so we can prepare alkenes like methane and ethane let's look at methane and ethane in this class okay i'm going to look at what preparation of these simple alkenes so we can prepare what alkenes like methane and ethane in the laboratory for methane we can use sodium acetate sodium acetate Okay, so we can prepare what uh, alkane like methane in the laboratory using what sodium what acetate. Sodium acetate is C H three C O O N A. It's a sort of what of sodium, very weak sort. All right, so we can prepare what methane in the laboratory using what sodium acetate C H three C O O N A in the presence of what by heating what this sodium acetate with soda lime. Okay, we heat this sodium acetate. With soda lime. Soda lime is this. Soda lime is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide. That's what we call soda lime. Okay? Soda lime is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide. Okay, so we can prepare what? 
uh, uh, canes, like you maintain in the laboratory, by, by using what? Sodium acetate. Okay, by heating the sodium acetate with soda lime, all right? That is what? Combination of sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide. And what do we have as the product? We have our, our methane and we have our sodium carbonate as our, what? as our product. So let's quickly see that reaction. So let's see what happens in that reaction. So we have sodium acetate, CH3, COO, Na, reacting with sodium hydroxide, NaOH. So that lime now. Okay, so here in the presence of heat, and of course, you know that this soda lime is what? Sodium hydroxide mixed with what? With calcium hydroxide. So, the presence of what? Of CaO also. So, when we apply heat, okay, to this, we are going to have what? Maintain CH4, then plus what? Na2CO3. All right? So, that will be our product. So, what happens in this reaction is that the COONA, this COONA from this word, sodium acetate, this is the sodium acetate. Sodium acetate. Okay, the COONA from this sodium acetate, okay, will react with this word NaO from this NaOH. Okay, so once it reacts, I'm not going to have what this our sodium carbonate. Then what is now left? What is left here is what? CH3. And what is now left here is what? Is H. So this is what gives us what? CH3 plus H is what gives us what? This methane. Okay, so please, it's very, very well, simple. So it's one of the ways we can prepare what uh, methane in the laboratory, okay, using sodium acetate by heating sodium acetate with, what? with soda lime, okay, which will give us what? Uh, methane and what? Sodium carbonate. So likewise, we can prepare what? Ethane also in the same regard. Okay, we can prepare ethane in the same regard by using sodium propionate. Okay, for ethane, for ethane now, uh, we can what? Prepare it using what? Sodium propionate. You can see this is very easy, right? Okay, so please do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students easily find this video, all right? Do not forget to also subscribe to this channel. When you subscribe, you get notifications whenever we release a new video, all right? And then you can be able to work to join us in our classes. So please, subscription is completely free for the, for the YouTube channel. So please subscribe, like this video so that other students can see it and also what come and learn with us. All right, so please do not forget to share to Share this video, tell people, tell your friends about what this channel. Let them also come and learn. Sodium propionate. So sodium propionate is C2H5 COONA. This is sodium propionate. Okay, so we can prepare a thing also in the laboratory by heating what sodium propionate with what? With soda lime. All right, so when we do this, I'm going to have our ethane and what? And sodium carbonate as the product. So let's, let us quickly see the reaction. So I'm going to have what? Our uh, C2H5. C-O-O-N-A, then plus what? N-A-O-H, like soda lime. This one is sodium propionate. Propionate. Okay, then we're now going to have our product. Our product will now be what now? Of course, I'm going to have our C2H6, which is our ethane, then plus what? Na2CO3. All right, simple as ABC. So now here, what happens in the reaction is similar to what happens when we what learn how to prepare what methane. Okay, so the COONA from the salt from sodium propionate will mix with what or react with what NC, uh, with this NaO from the what sodium hydroxide to give us what this sodium carbonate. Why what what will be left here is what C2H5 then plus what H. So which will give us our what our C2 six. Okay, our ethane. It's very, very, very what easy. Okay, so this is how we prepare what methane and ethane in the laboratory. I'm sure that is very, very easy, right? Okay, so now let us see some, have some other methods, have some other general methods we can use what in uh, preparing what alkanes. Okay, one of them is what to call iodination. Iodination, iodination. Okay, so we can reduce what methyl iodide. By reduction of retail iodide using what nascent hydrogen. Okay, another method. Talk about general methods now that we can use. I'm going to talk about only this iodination. If you want to see the reactions, okay, of the other methods, you can just check them in your words in your textbooks. Okay, so let us see um, uh, general methods. Number one is iodination. Okay, in this iodination, what we use is methyl chloride, methyl chlor, methyl iodide. Sorry, 
methyl iodide. Okay, so methyl iodide is what is CH3I. This is methyl iodide. Okay, so in iodination, what happens is that what this what methyl iodide is reduced by nascent hydrogen. Nascent hydrogen. This nascent hydrogen is produced by the reaction between zinc powder and dilute hydrochloric acid. Okay, so this nascent hydrogen is what is produced using what by, by reacting zinc powder and what and dilute what ACL. So this nascent hydrogen reduces this what uh, uh, methyl iodide. To give us what now to now give us what methane and give us what hydrogen what iodide also as the product. Okay, so let us see this reaction. It happens in the presence of zinc or copper couple and alcohol. Okay, so the full reaction is this: is CH three I. Then of course plus what now our uh, nascent hydrogen two H. Then to give us what now uh, methane CH four. Then plus what HI. Sorry, plus HI. Okay, so this is our full reaction. Why this is our what our methyl iodide? Okay, this is our what our nascent hydrogen. Remember, this reaction occurs in the presence of zinc or copper couple and alcohol. It's also needed for the reaction. Okay, then this will now give us what now. This is methane, methane, CH4, methane, and this is what. Hydrogen iodide. Okay, so it's as simple as ABC. So this is what happens in what? In iodination. Okay, in iodination, methyl chloride is reduced by nascent what hydrogen to give us what? Methane and what? And hydrogen iodide as the product. Okay, so now let us see other methods. These other methods, I don't want to what? Uh, talk too much about them. So you can look them up, okay? And understand how the, uh, what? How uh, methane, uh, sorry, how alkenes are gotten from them. One is dehydro dehydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes. One is the hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes. Okay, number two. Is what reduction of glucose. Okay, then number three is thermal cracking of acetone. Okay, then number four is Kolb's electrolytic method. Electrolytic method. Then number five, we have what's the reaction? What what W R O T Z what reaction and Greek Nads method okay what reaction and Greek Nads Greek Nads method so apart from iodination we have what other what um other what methods you can use for other general methods you can use in producing what alkenes and it includes the hydrogenation of alkenes and alkynes reduction of glucose. Thermal cracking of acetone, Coke's electrolytic method, Watts reaction, and Greek Nath method. All right? So this way, I'm going to stop when it comes to what preparation of alkenes. In the next class, I'm going to see the reaction that alkenes undergo. All right? I would love to see you there. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like. Don't forget to share. Do not forget to, uh, uh, forget to keep what, uh, subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching. See you there.